Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. To start the video off, I wanted to showcase some of our hiking footage from yesterday. And you might be shocked at some of the things we found. On what felt like the first real day of fall, we went hiking and discovered this massive, elaborately designed beaver dam. Hundreds of sticks piled up on top of each other and some sort of underground burrow which was easily revealed by the dark cave-like area. Beaver dams are commonly constructed as a source of protection from coyotes and other predators, such as wolves and even bears, and they even store large amounts of their food in these dams. Right across from the beaver dam, as one might expect, my dad and I discovered this eroded area, which had been created as a result of the beaver traveling through quite a bit. And surrounding the dam were these dried up lily pads, which made a subtle crackling noise in the wind. And while hiking on one of the trails, we discovered this weird fungi, which looks like a wasp nest. Perhaps if anyone is able to identify what this fungi is called, please let us know down in the comment section below. And now we look at our first trail cam captures. The source for the first two is down in the link in the description below. In this first one, someone set out a corn feeder, which they thought was high enough, so that the raccoons would not be able to reach it. But little did they know, the raccoons had a better plan. Not two, not three, but four raccoons standing on top of each other in order to reach the corn. It's the last thing anyone would have expected. This next one was posted with the caption, my friend found his trail camera destroyed, as if someone stabbed the lens with a screwdriver. And this is the last picture it took. Based on the picture, it looks like a woodpecker, and these creatures can wreak havoc on your camera equipment if you're not watching carefully. But as far as trail cams are concerned, I'm sure he never expected it to be destroyed by none other than the woodpecker. This next trail cam capture, set up next to a feeder, took this picture on October the 7th of 2009. And it depicts a hog taking a big bite out of a raccoon. At least that's what it looks like. This unfortunate raccoon never stood a chance. This next trail cam capture was posted in the great state of Michigan. Yes, we revisit the state once again. But not for a bipedal hominid, rather this animal that looks like a polar bear. These pictures were taken back on September the 4th, 5th, and 6th of what is known as the white spirit bear. It's actually a black bear with a very rare genetic mutation, but were named spirit bears by Native Americans who thought they were sacred because of their ghost white appearance. And this one was recorded eating out of a bait pile that was organized by a person who set it out in front of their trail cam. They are also known as Kermode bears. Kermode bears are most commonly found on three islands in British Columbia, Canada. And only between 100 and 500 of them are known to exist in the entire world, which makes them extremely rare. In this night photo, we get a good look at the whiteness of its fur. And contrary to what most people might believe, these animals are not considered albinos. But either way, this is one interesting set of trail cam captures. And our next trail cam capture is from a location adjacent to Michigan, the state that we all know and respect as Ohio. It was posted by the Mystery Hunters Facebook page back on February the 8th of 2012. 
The trail cam image depicts an unknown figure running by at a rapid speed, which causes the figure itself to be rather blurry and of poor quality. But regardless, we can still figure out that there is a forehead, well-defined forehead, a chin, and what could very well possibly be an ear on the side of its head. These key details are brought out better in the enhanced version of the image. But it does appear to be bulky in shape, as if it could be a costume of some kind, or perhaps even a ghillie suit. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And lastly, we look at what one of our trail cams recorded here very recently. It's a buck that looks partially albino, but is actually what is known as being piebald. The deer's neck is entirely white, and some of its face as well. And in recent years, this characteristic has become more and more common, but many states protect them and have made it illegal to kill one while many others argue that they contaminate the gene pool with a harmful gene. Tell me what you think about this capture down in the comments section below. And to end the video off, I wanted to overlook and showcase some of our older documentary footage where we found some amazing finds that have not yet been revealed to a larger audience. While hiking, we discovered this large cypress knee. Yes, you are looking at a cypress knee. For those unaware of what a cypress knee is, they are connected to the roots of a cypress tree. And they typically measure a couple feet tall, but this one was almost nine feet, making it unofficially one of the largest ever. But that title goes to one that was discovered back in 1803 that stood at 14 feet tall. But at the base of this one, we discovered what appeared to be large amounts of, like, sawdust, where different animals and perhaps some termites had been gnawing and biting on the bark. And the marks were fresh, considering they had not officially oxidized yet. And after that, we spotted some mounds in the distance. We had no idea what had caused the long stretch of mounds. Perhaps they were old Native American burial mounds. There were five distinctive areas, and so we decided to walk up and get a closer look at them. And that's when a crow started to go crazy alongside an owl. Some of the mounds were at least four to five feet tall, and in some areas, even taller. Do you believe these were man-made, or do you think they're completely natural formations of the land? Let me know what you think about them down in the comment section below.